Hi students, welcome to the seventh tutorial of the chapter Applications of Trigonometry. E tutorial la manam exercise twelve point two ke samandhi chhe twenty problem number seven inchi problem number nine varko na solutions chhoda. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on class ten mathematics. This is your question number seven. Two poles of equal heights are standing opposite to each other on either side of the road, which is one hundred and twenty feet wide. From a point between them on the road. The angles of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. Find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles. So, in this problem, lo, there are two poles standing on either side of a road which is 120 feet wide. So, here we have a road like a national highway. Our road ki rendu hai pula kora. There are two poles of equal height. Rendu equal height lo nadvan two poles hone. Now the observer is standing on the road. Between these two, and when this observer observed the tops of these two poles, he found that the angles of elevation are 60 degrees and 30 degrees. ये पढ़े इतने angles of elevation different का होना ही हो. Observer definite का road की मजलो लेड़े न मान का अदन जस call. Okay. Now, when this observer looked at one pole, the angle of elevation was 60 degrees, and when he looked at the second pole, the angle of elevation was actually 30 degrees. Now you have to calculate the height of each pole. And also the position of the observer. Ante observer road pai na, ye pole nici anta distance lo orna da kona manu. E problem lo find out cheyali, right? Let us try to draw the diagram for this. So this is the road which is 120 feet wide, and AB and CD are the two poles of equal height. E rendu poles hu equal height lo orna. Idu manu baaga utpe it calls in vishyam. Now suppose E is the observer, and angle of elevation of the first pole is actually 60 degrees, and angle of elevation of the second pole is 30 degrees. Now you have to find the height of each pole and also the position of the observer on the road. Now let us take height of each pole as h and write the information that we have in the problem. A, B, and C, D are two poles of equal height and we have taken it as h feet. E is the position of the observer on the road. B, D is the width of the road, which is equal to 120 feet. Now what we do is we'll take the value of d e as x so that E to B will be 120 minus x. For example, D inch E 30 meter distance long then could automatically E inch be 90 meter distance long to the. So if you know one distance, you can find the second distance by subtracting that from 120. So first distance in x one could take second distance automatically 120 minus x out to the. Now take D E as x, then E B will be 120 minus x. Now angle A E B. This is the first angle. E is Angle of elevation of the tower AB from point E. Now similarly, angle CED is the angle of elevation of the tower CD from the same point E that is equal to 30 degrees. Now let us consider triangle CDE first. What is the angle in this? It's actually 30 degrees. Now here the opposite side is H, and the adjacent side is taken as X. So opposite by adjacent. Let us take tan of 30. Tan 30 is opposite by adjacent. So CD by DG, we know that tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So on the left side you have 1 by root 3, and on the right we have taken CD as H, and in the denominator DE will be X. So this is equal to H by X. Now when we do cross multiplication, you will have H into root 3 is equal to X into 1, or H is equal to X by square root of 3. So take this as equation 1. Now let us consider the second triangle, triangle ABE. Now the angle here is actually 60. And now the opposite side is H, and the adjacent side is 120 minus X. Let us write tan 60 here. Tan 60 is opposite by adjacent AB by EB. We know that tan 60 is root 3, so root 3 is equal to AB H divided by 120 minus X. Now cross multiply adjacent like that, you have H into 1 because root 3 by 1 you have to take. Now H into 1 is 120 minus X into root 3. H ones are H. So H is equal to 120x into root 3. Now we will take this as equation 2. Now when you observe equation 1 and 2, these two equations have H on the left side. So if we take two equations on the left hand side is equal, or right hand side is going to automatically equal because things equal to the same thing are equal to one another. So our logic prakaram x by root 3 is equal to 120 minus x into root 3. Actually, it's a variable x. Now we have to solve this equation for x. ये root three के divide जास्त नहीं x नहीं। When you transpose this root three to the other side, it will actually 
multiply now we'll have x on the left side is equal to right side already 120 minus x root 3 undi ikka divide chestuna root 3 at multiply chestund anukondi you will have 120 minus x root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 3 so ee 3 tho 120 minus x ni multiply cheyali 120 into 3 360 minus x into 3 3x so x is equal to 360 minus 3x let us transpose minus 3x to the left side then you have x plus 3x is equal to 360 x plus 3x is 4x that means we have 4x is equal to 360 degrees or x is equal to 360 by 4 360 4 90 times cancel out this so we got x is equal to 90 so we can say that observer is 90 feet away from the pole cd eppudaithe cd nunchi 90 feet away untado automatically ga ab nunchi 30 feet distant lo untadu now we have to find height of the tower also as from equation 1 we have h is equal to x by root 3 that means h will be 90 by root 3 endukante h manaki x value 90 ochindi kabatti now let us rationalize this into root 3 by root 3 so in the numerator you will have 90 into root 3 in the denominator you will have 3 e 3 90 lo 30 times so you will have h is equal to 30 root 3 we know that root 3 is 1.732 so this is equal to 30 into 1.732 which is 51.96 therefore height of each pole is actually 51.96 feet let us move to the next problem question number eight the angles of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance of four meter and nine meter find the height of the tower from the base of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary we have a tower and there are two observers first observer is at four meter distant and the second observer is at 9 meter distance now both these two look at the top of the tower children rendu observers unna the problem lo they are on the same side of the tower opposite sides ga first observer is at a distance of 4 meter from the tower and the second observer is at a distance of 9 meter from the tower now we have the information that the angles of elevation of these two observers are complementary ante ee rendu observers yokka angles of elevation plus chesthe 90 degrees they can be 20 70 or they can be 30 60 or they can be 25 65 so atla ga ee rendu complementary angles atla aithe now we have to find the height of the tower so ee rendu complementary ani ichchadu manaku oka value kuda ledhu so let us take the first angle as theta then automatically second angle will be 90 degrees minus theta because complementary angle of x is 90 degrees minus x now using this information we have to find the height of the tower let us try to draw the diagram for this this is the level ground and ab is the tower c is the first observation point and the angle of elevation of the tower from c is theta d is the second observation point and the angle of elevation from this point is 90 degrees minus theta we are also given that c is 4 meter away from the tower and d is 9 meter away from the tower now you have to find the value of ab Convertment tower yaka height manu calculate chayal. So we'll take uh, AB as H. Now let us write the information that we have. We have AB is the height of the tower. We'll take it as H meter. Adi manu calculate chayal. C and D are positions of the observers. Okay. BC is the distance of the first observer from the tower that is 4 meter. And BD is the distance of the second observer from the tower which is equal to 9 meter. Now angle ACB is the angle of elevation of the tower from C which is taken as theta and angle ADB is the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the point D we have taken it as 90 degrees minus theta now we have to find height of the tower now let us consider first triangle ABC now here the angle is actually theta opposite side is H and adjacent side is 4 now let us write tan theta tan theta is opposite by adjacent that is AB by BC now here we have taken AB as H and we know that BC is equal to 4. That means this will be equal to H by 4. As we don't know theta, tan theta and tan theta lage manu continue jesa. Take this as equation 1. Now let us consider the bigger triangle. Triangle ABD. Now here the angle is actually 90 degrees minus theta. Now let us write tan 90 degrees minus theta. Here opposite side once again AB and H. Adjacent side actually got D into B equal distance 9 meter. 
Now let us write tan 90 degrees minus theta. This is equal to AB by BD. Right? Now tan 90 degrees minus theta is ABH by 9. But we know that tan 90 degrees minus theta is actually cot theta. So left side 120 tan 90 degrees minus theta place so I can write cot theta is equal to H by 9. First equation lo manik left side tan and now here we got an equation which involves cot. Now let us convert tan into cot. We know that tan and cot are reciprocals of each other. We know that cot theta is 1 by tan. So here on the left side in place of cot theta I can write 1 by tan that means 1 by tan is H by 9. When you take the reciprocals tan will be 9 by H. Now take this as equation 2. Now if you observe equation 1 and equation 2, they have tan theta on the left side. That means they have the same value on the left side. That means their right hand sides are also equal. Now from equation 1 and 2, we can take h by 4 is equal to 9 by h. Cross multiply is the h into h is 4 into 9. h into h is h square is equal to 36. Now when you transpose square to the other side, it will become root. That means h is equal to square root of 36 which is 6 therefore height of the tower is equal to 6 meter children man angle of elevation we are given only the relation between the angles of elevation so alan problems which number good amano chala easy gas all change now let us look at the last problem of the exercise question number nine the angle of elevation of a jet plane from a point a on the ground is 60 degrees so there is a jet plane that is flying in the sky now, the angle of elevation of the jet plane from a point A is 60 degrees. After a flight of 15 seconds, the angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees. So, observer in Chidoranga jet plane travel yasan. If the distance increase, the angle of elevation decrease. Right? If the 15 seconds travel yes in Tarvata, the jet plane yak angle of elevation 30 degrees will change in that. If the jet plane is flying at a constant height of 1500 root 3 meter, Find the speed of the jet plane. We are also given root 3 is equal to 1.732. So, if we calculate your else, we have to find the speed of the jet plane. From physics, we know that speed is equal to distance by time. Man, we actually time mentioned just at 15 seconds. But in the 15 seconds, lo, jet plane air lo, and the distance travel is in the man, can go a little chale easy ga manu problem solve change. Let us try to draw the diagram for this. Okay, this is the level ground, and the jet plane is flying in the air. Now here we have the height of the jet plane which is equal to 1500 root 3 meter. Now this is the observer. When he looked at the jet plane, the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. 15 seconds travel is the height low. So after 15 seconds, the angle of elevation changed to 30 degrees. In these situations, the height change. So it is flying at the same height, 1500 root 3 meter. Now we calculate the uh, position 1 inch position 2 ki well done 16 seconds but the nth speed to a jet plane travel yes no money calculate here let us try to draw the diagram for this right now these are the two positions of the jet plane this is the level ground a is the position of the observer b is the position of the jet plane in the first place so angle of elevation is 60 degrees now with the jet plane travel yes na path it traveled from b to c now the angle of elevation is actually 30 degrees in both the cases Height of the jet plane is actually 1500 root 3 meter. So, this is diagram. Now, you have to find the distance traveled by the jet plane in the air. And the B in C, is C and travel is the distance calculate. Let us write the information that we have. B and C are the initial and final positions of the jet plane. A is the position of the observer. BD is equal to CE because they are heights of the jet plane, which is equal to 1500 root 3 meter. Angle B A E that means the first angle. When the jet plane was at B, the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. When the jet plane was at C, the angle of elevation was 30 degrees. Now here we are given that the time taken by the jet plane to reach from B to C is 15 seconds. Now let us take A D as X and D E as Y. If we take D E value Y in the concert yastamo, B C value kora Y yautod because it's a rectangle. B, C, E, D is a rectangle. So, if you take D E as Y, automatically B, C will be also equal to Y. Actually, we B, C length calculate here. If B, C calculate here, we indirect D, E calculate here. Because B, C and D, E are equal, a distance D, E equal. So, by calculating the value of D, E, we can find 
the speed of the jet plane. Now, first let us consider the first triangle ABD. What is the angle in this? It is actually 60 degrees. Opposite side 1500 root 3 adjacent side mo x let us write tan 60 opposite by adjacent bd by ad tan 60 is square root of 3 is equal to 1500 root 3 by x now root 3 is actually root 3 by 1 now when you do cross multiplication you have x into root 3 is equal to 1500 root 3 or x is equal to 1500 root 3 by root 3 in the x ni root 3 multiply as now this root 3 and root 3 will be cancelled which means x is equal to 1500. So, a and d distance. Right? Now, let us consider the bigger triangle, triangle ACE. In the low angle of elevation, 30 degrees. Let us write tan once again. Tan 30 opposite by adjacent, CE by AE. CE is 1500 root 3. A. Now, tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to CE, 1500 root 3 by Denominator lo a ninchu e kunna mottan distance. It's actually x plus y. So this is equal to 1500 root 3 by x plus y. Cross multiply yes the x plus y into 1 is equal to 1500 root 3 into root 3. Right? Now left hand side x plus y into 1 and x plus y is equal to right side shouldn't 1500 root 3 into root 3. Root 3 into root 3, 3. 3 into 1500, 4500. So, x plus y is 4500. That means, y is equal to 4500 minus x. Already, x value is How much? 1500. So, E equation low, x plus low 1500 substitute chase, you will have y is equal to 4500 minus 1500, which is equal to 3000. And E jet plane travel chase distance air low 300 meter. Now, you have to calculate the speed. As we know, speed is distance by time. Here, the distance is 3000 meter. Time taken is 15 seconds. It's mentioned in the problem. So, this is equal to 3000 meter by 15 seconds. 15, 3000 low, 200 times cancel. Out. That means, this will be equal to 200 meter per second. Therefore, speed of the jet plane is equal to 200 meter per second. So, this problem involved both maths and physics. So, it will make problems. Now, this is your assignment for today. I have given two problems. Solve these two problems and post the answers to me as early as possible. Thank you.